Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel Keep Learning. Our today's topic is backup and restore into the router. So first of all, why we should take the backup? We need to take the backup because sometimes our router is not working properly, it get faulty, it get burnout or any kind of problem occur with the router, we need to change it immediately and we need to configure the router again with the same configuration. So in such cases, if the backup is there, it is going to be very much helpful. So it is recommended to take a backup of router at regular interval. So let us go into the lab. Into the laboratory, you can see that regular router is there, backup router is there and a server is there. So I will take the backup of a regular router into the server. Then suppose that router is not working properly. So what I will do? I will disconnect the regular router and connect the backup router. So my backup is currently into the server. So what I will do? I will take the reload into the backup router. So my backup router will work as a regular router and my system will work again same as it was working previously. So this is a very important topic. You should go to the practical. So let us start the experiment. First of all, I will take one router. Then I need a server. We will make that server as a TFTP server. Now let us connect the router to the Giga Ethernet and server to the fast ethernet. First of all, we will provide the IP address that is 192.168.11 and the server will be 192.168.1.100. So in router, I will use the command to give the IP address. First of all, enable then config terminal. Now in the config mode, I will interface the giga ethernet 000 then IP address 192.168.1.1 then subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then no shutdown to start the router you can see that router link is up now now in the server in the fast ethernet I will go to the interface then fast ethernet and then 192.168.1.100 we need to take care about the IP address because in the backup router, we are going to use the same IP address which is given to the regular router. Now enable the TFTP service, go to the server, go to the services, TFTP, it is on. Now let us modify the host name. I have given the host name as DDZ. Now I will apply some configuration. For example, interface Giga Ethernet 000 and then I will write some description. So description is it's an old router. That's it. Now I will check that it is in the running configuration. So in running configuration, you can see the host name and you can see the description of interface Giga Ethernet 00 is as per our change or as per our modification. So now I will take the backup. So, so I will copy, copy running configuration, then again ask the question, so running configuration to TFTP, address or name of the remote host, so remote host is here 192.168.1.100, obviously it is server, then destination file name, so I have given the DDZ all, so you can see that the configuration is copied into the server. Let us check, go to the server. In a services, you will find the TFTP. You will find the file, check the file name. You can see that DDZ all file is there. So now we have taken the backup. We will reload the backup into the new router. So router gets faulty. I have bring the new router. I am connecting the router. Again, I will give the IP address. Yes, take care that we are going to use the same IP address over here to avoid the any conflict. So again, I will give the IP address 192.168.1.1, which is same as the old router or a regular router. So again, I will write the same command, enable config terminal interface, giga ethernet 000, then IP address 192.168.1.11, then subnet mask. 255.255.255.0 and then no shutdown. 
so here you can see that router name is router and uh, now i will uh, going to check the <coughs> configuration so in the configuration you can see that interface 00 ip address is there but there is no any description so when i take the backup you will find the description will get changed so now again i will copy but now i am going to copy a tftp server file so tftp2 running configuration and then i will give the remote host so that is here 192.168.1.100 so that is again server and the source file name it must be the same so here the source file name is ddz all and destination file keep that blank so you can see that it has been copied and you can see that router name is changed to ddz now i will check the running configuration so i will find that description into the giga ethernet 000 port so see the description is also there so that means uh, router has taken the backup so uh, that's it thank you thank you for watching the video if you have any comment question doubt please write down into the comment section thank you